with only two races remaining in the 1990 season, NASCAR headed west to the Arizona desert. Mark Martin's first title was now in sight as he held a 45 point lead over rival Dale Earnhardt. The next to last race was Phoenix and we had a, a, nice, a nice little point lead. Mark Martin, if he were to finish third or better today and in Atlanta, he can dust off the mantle and find a place for that Winston Cup trophy. But anytime you're being chased by the intimidator Earnhardt, you're always in trouble. We are under green as they come down to the line and head for turn number one. We couldn't hit our set up with both hands. I'll tell you what, Mark Martin is struggling, and I mean struggling big time. I got the tires hot. We were just stepped loose. We got the rear tires burned up. Caution came out late. It was a coin toss whether you needed to have tires or not. Mark runs fantastic on new tires, and I didn't consider the fact that it was terribly hard to pass at Phoenix at that time. And I said, Rob, let's put four tires on this thing. Six, six cars car coming in. The six cars. Watching Mark Martin just made a pit stop here under the caution flag. But he only has 14 laps to go. Leave him out there, man. If he doesn't win and he only runs fourth, but give your driver a chance. Don't make him have to come from 10th on tires. The pit strategy would fail to pay off. You know, we just we ran 10th, and that was it. And Dale led the most laps and won the race. Earnhardt has been the dominant car here all afternoon. And Dale Earnhardt will come out of turn four and take the checkered flag. Phoenix didn't break our heart. It was just like, darn, it's Earnhardt again. It looks flawless. I mean, was there ever a problem during the race? No, we, we made one little adjustment early, and uh, from then on, it was just, you know, pretty much home free. You know, we showed that we were a little too young, a little too immature, and uh, we'd lost the points lead. You know, we're ahead by a little bit, and uh, I'd rather be ahead than behind. I think we can go down there and put the pressure on them. We'll be down there testing with them and see what they got and see what we can do. Following Phoenix, Teams traveled to a test session at Atlanta, the site of the season's final race. You could test as many cars as you wanted and different things. We had trucks and trailers and open trailers behind pickup trucks and trailers behind vans, and we just took everything we had so that Mark could go out and run the car and choose the one he liked the best. It was all hands on deck. There was a lot of action going on on that test. The Roush fleet was in a frenzy, exploring every avenue on a search for more speed. While their competition simply relied on championship experience. a couple hours, maybe, which is nothing. And all of a sudden, I think maybe we broke for lunch, we come back, and they were gone. Earnhardt, gone fishing, hunting, whatever he was doing. After about five hours of practice here on Wednesday, the Goodwrench team, along with Dale Earnhardt, packed up. Dale was gonna trade in his first love and head off to Alabama, where he could do a little deer hunting and some four-wheeling. When everything's right, you don't need to, you don't need to practice and test. And, you know, people say that they quit because they wanted to pull a mine game. They didn't. They quit because their stuff was right. He kind of put a number up that, that we couldn't get close to, and they got out of there. And it was, uh, it was frustrating for us. You know, we had everything we knew to bring down there, and they just whipped us. Dale Earnhardt was the cock of the walk, you know what I mean? He loaded up and went home. And we were over there just struggling our tails off. Shocks off and all four springs out, and then we'll have to get some when we get done running. Just plug it in here right now. And Robert Yates was probably the one that was willing to help us the most. He he had the idea that it was very important for a Ford to win the championship. They offered to let me climb in Davy's car in the first 
couple of laps were two or three tenths faster than I ran in two days in my car. Jack Roush, great engine builder in a lot of racing series, he needed an engine that was better than his. And Robert Yates had it. What we did was is we borrowed that car, engine and all. We did what we thought was right. We probably would have been better off with one of our own cars, but we were just trying to go fast and get Mark the best car we could get for him. To tell Steve Meal and Robin Pemberton, with the championship on the line, we're not going to use your car. I mean, boy, that has got to hurt. We had some pretty darn good cars. We worked real hard at it. You know, I'm just going to leave it like that. <laughs>